Uh, I have met Dr. Ragawa uh, for the first time more than 25 years ago when I was a fellow at the Mass General Hospital and Dr. Ogawa was an attending physician in the cath lab. It was at the early stage of the career of both of us. Since then, Professor Ogawa has become a leader in cardiology in the United States. He's the director of clinical cardiology at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and the president of the ACC. It is a great honor for me to invite Dr. Ogawa to welcome us on behalf of the American College of Cardiology. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yossi, for those uh, kind words. Shalom mi artsot habrit. Ani sameach liot po in havram Israeli. Distinguished Chairman, Dr. Segev, Dr. Rosenman, our surgical colleagues, Dr. Sahar, Dr. Kasif, my distinguished colleagues from the European Society of Cardiology, my friends, Dr. Antman, my Harvard colleague and the president-elect of the American Heart Association, Shalom Jakovovitz, the CEO of the ACC, and Dr. John Harold, who is here as our past president, distinguished colleagues in the audience, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the 47,000 members of the American College of Cardiology, I bring you greetings. Shalom, shalom. We are very pleased to participate in this, the 61st annual conference of the Israel Heart Society in association with our brethren, the Israeli Society of Cardiothoracic Surgery. And I very much enjoyed your introductory comments with respect to the collaboration that cardiologists and cardiac surgeons must have in the mutual care of our patients moving forward in the 21st century. I am sure Dr. Vahanian may address that in his remarks that will follow. The United States is quite dependent on the energy, the innovation, and the creativity that comes from Israel and that informs many of the advances that we have enjoyed in biotechnology, in informatics, in proteomics, genomics, metabolomics, the things that will transform the future practice of cardiovascular medicine. We are grateful for your leadership and we have learned much from the example that you have set. Now yesterday was my first experience in visiting the Holy City. I brought a yarmulke with me, a friend gave me a yarmulke, just in case I was arrested for wearing a baseball hat, being an American, being a Roman Catholic. So only in Jerusalem would Roman Catholics be in the basement and the Armenians, of course, would be on the first floor, and the Greeks would be on the first floor, <laughs> and my Jewish brethren would be on the first floor. I had to go down into the basement to find the Roman Catholics. But as I was standing in front of the Western Wall, my telephone rang, and of course, I thought it was a local call from God. <laughs> and I started to shake, <laughs> but no, it was Mr. Jakobowicz from the American College of Cardiology asking me if I'd finish my assignments for today. But I am here nonetheless. I would like to share just a few comments about the relationship between the ACC and the Israel Heart Society, as well as between the ACC and the European Society of Cardiology. You will see the logos here on the screen that are prominently displayed. We are collaborators and we are not competitors. We have the same goal to reduce the burden globally of cardiovascular disease and stroke. And to think otherwise, I believe, is quite small. We will not think small. We will think big during your conference here over the next day and a half. The American College of Cardiology is pleased to collaborate 
with over 9,500 international members among our 47,000. We now have 31 chapters, including the very successful chapter here in the state of Israel, uh, which has, as you can see on the list, a very prominent contribution from 190 members, of whom 60 are fellows of our organization. And fellowship recognition, we believe, distinguishes the members of this particular chapter and our society in general as having special expertise in cardiovascular medicine, surgery, and science. And we depend very heavily on working with our Israeli colleagues in order to further our agenda with respect to this global burden of which I have spoken. We are very proud of our registry experience. As you can see here, we have now 18 million patient records of information across the registries that comprise the data set that we are tracking. And we believe that we have been informed not only with respect to the current practice of cardiovascular medicine and surgery, but we are very anxious to use these platforms to enable additional clinical research around outcomes, around quality improvement, and around bringing the care to the patient that is required. I would draw specific attention to the TVT registry in this upper right-hand corner, this transvalvular therapy registry is a necessary component of participation in the United States with transcatheter valve replacement and treatment. And this is the mechanism that we have helped to establish in the United States to make sure that these transformative therapies are delivered appropriately and under the appropriate supervision so that our practitioners have, have the right experience and can do this at a very high level of competence and we track the outcomes thereafter. We would look forward to continuing our work with the Israeli Heart Society and the Israeli Society for Cardiothoracic Surgery in order to um, further this particular mission. Dr. Rosenman has brought your attention to the fact that we provide a mentoring program through the American College of Cardiology to facilitate observerships in the United States that your trainees can access. And we have been very blessed, as Dr. Rosenman pointed out 30 years ago, he was teaching me the basics of patient evaluation, thoroughness, follow through, and compassion. I learned much from Dr. Rosenman in those interactions. We learn much from your fellows who visit us because of the very high quality of education and training that occurs here in Israel, and we would like to take advantage of that in a mutually helpful way. I would draw your attention to this program because I do think it has a tremendous potential. And let me close by repeating what I have said in other forums that I have shared with Dr. Vardis that namely the American College of Cardiology wishes to work with you in Israel in strategic collaboration with our global partners to work effectively to reduce the burden of cardiovascular disease and stroke, to advance research, and to provide education to our mutual communities. Thank you very much for allowing me this opportunity to speak with you, and please enjoy your conference. Shalom. <laughs>